daughter was dancing in the moonlight. Everybody here is outside. They don't bark and they don't bite. They keep things loose. They keep things alive. Everybody was dancing in the moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight. And stay up tight, it's supernatural delight. Every part of a dancing in the moonlight. folks I, I think that was actually the, the version of a song i was playing here one second <clears throat> I, I think it was hold on here audio is weird fix your sound ah uh, hey you should be hearing me just fine one 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 second before we turn the camera on i just want to make sure i'm uh in the right spot for what i want to do here okay i dumbass didn't set everything up at least my voice is okay. Oh, yeah, noise. Oh, God, yeah, you're right. Do I have noise canceling on? Yeah, I have noise suppression on. For desktop audio, that's actually... Mm. Yeah, okay. That's only supposed to be on my voice. Let me make sure it's on my voice only. Okay, all right, all right. Wouldn't be one of my streams that'll fuck up. That is true. That is true. One second here. Test voice sounds okay. All right. Uh, I can see you by the way. Two rock real quick. Let's uh. Video capture device. There we go. Folks, how are we doing? Sounds fine. Good to hear. Oh boy, yeah, I know. I haven't streamed in um has it been a month? Bad if I saw catches it. Oh. Uh well Hey, hey, look, I mean she she's rightfully going to get a settlement because this is negligence no matter what. I mean, we don't need to really care about what she's doing. Uh I'll explain who who the main topic is of the story after we do a little bit of housekeeping. Because uh, we're going to do that real quick. Let me just uh, go on. Okay. I, I, I want to make sure I actually have a chat in my second window. Just because uh, OBS is already being a pain in the ass for me. Life's not fair. Yeah, I, I mean, look. Yeah. Look, I, I, I'll talk about her Twitch content. The only thing I'm going to pull up is her Twitch content. 
But uh, we're, we're going to discuss the main topic in a little bit. Of course, uh, the first thing I want to say is, um, without saying what the announcement is, there will be an announcement regarding a uh, project, a collaborative project, that uh, I can't describe currently, but I want to say that there will be um, there will be a stream announcing it later uh, down the road this week. Uh, it's something that's a long time coming. Uh, I'm just going to mention that now before we get into anything else. He's like, I had drunk tusks to my boss last night and I feel kind of embarrassed about it now. Understandable. <laughs> uh, announcement of an announcement. Yes. Uh, stream's current bit rate slower, but... Fuck you, OBS. Uh, but yeah, no, we're going to have an interesting new project. Collaborative project. Humanity nicely said a sticker with Slop Cross. Numbers. That's pretty good. Um, So, I I'm going to talk about some gaming-related stuff first before we get too deep into this. Uh, why? Because I have a captive audience and I can finally talk about video game things. Hey... All right, here we go. Let's uh, get this pulled up here. So our, our first topic, because we are going to talk about TwitchCon stuff, but we're going to talk about some uh, some gaming-related things here. Um, mistake number one, they jumped into a cube ball pit. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, that ball pit's fucking weird. Uh, we're going to read this headline here. Uh, Microsoft approves, uh, Brazil approves Microsoft Activision acquisition, says it doesn't need to protect PlayStation. This was a, an interesting story that I don't know if anybody's kept following up on, uh, if anyone in my chat has followed up on, but it's really interesting. Because PlayStation and Sony have been fighting over this uh, acquisition of Activision Blizzard King, which is the uh, it's a big publisher. To, to sum it up real quick for everybody. Ah, uh, Brazil. Yes. Brazil. Um, home of... Home of shitty green screen, I guess. One second. That wasn't the capture device. Okay. Wait. Yep. That just made it worse. <sighs> Guys. Alright, now it's working. Come to Brazil? Fuck yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Microsoft has been trying to get, um, who makes cube balls? That is a good question. So they've been trying to get uh, regulators across to the, uh, the planet, essentially, to verify the deal. The deal is the merger between $70 million, well, yeah, $70 billion worth of, you know, IP and stock and all that, that has to be regulated by each country. Uh, the reason I'm talking about it here is, um... I can scroll back down here. So, the CADE, which is uh, Brazil's essential like, like regulatory body, like the FTC, etc., uh, essentially called out Sony, who have been going around uh, to every company, well, every one of these uh, regulators, and saying, "Hey, this is bad for us." Um, I just want I just want to talk about this guy. Find it funny was the wrong thing. I, I need to... I need to get a new stream deck. Uh, here we go. This was the, the big thing that blew up in my mind when I saw this. Here we go. Uh, PlayStation's Jim Ryan calls Call of Duty... Oh, Xbox's Call of Duty promise inadequate on many levels. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting the gaming shit out of the way. I, I know. Nobody cares about this shit. Um, last week, Phil Spencer said a new Call of Duty game will remain on PlayStation for at least several more years after Activision's current contract with Sony expires, which is slated for the next three Call of Duties, including Modern Warfare 2019... Modern Warfare 2 2022. Uh, COD 2024, and then the next project afterwards. So, the, those next three COD games. Um... Microsoft extended the uh, deal to uh, three more years, so or three more projects, basically. So uh, another three COD games afterwards. Um, 
Microsoft has only offered for Call of Duty to remain on PlayStation for three years after the current agreement between Activision and Sony ends. After almost 20 years of Call of Duty on PlayStation, her proposal was inadequate on many levels and failed to take into account the impact on our gamers. We want to guarantee PlayStation gamers continue to have the highest quality Call of Duty experience. Microsoft's proposal undermines its principle. Uh, so he's been, uh, and ironically, this is an this article here, but he's literally been flying around to regulators trying to butter them up against the Activision Blizzard King murder. Which is weird for a CEO to be doing. Companies shine each other as much as other customers, well, as much as other consumers do. Very true. Now, with that out of the way, we will talk about the, the, the topic at hand here. The, the background of this image. So, um, to, to give a quick, um, a, a quick rundown on Adriana. Uh, from what I remember seeing... Hmm, real quick. Okay, that's not on screen. I, I'm just going to make sure before I do anything. Let, let's see. I'm dragging this to a whole other fucking window real quick. Uh, she is currently number 13 on the monthly, yearly, last month rank on uh, Pornhub. She, she is number 13 rated um, when it comes to porn star ranking. Which, when I when I remind you, porn star ranking. Uh, real quick, I, I'll I'll tell you the top ranked porn star. We'll, we'll just we'll go most popular. Who is number one? Well, okay. But like you know, you Riley Reed. You've got your Mia Khalifa. You got your you know, in a name full of big names, she's a big name. Um, please Wikipedia. Don't have any nude images so I can show this. Oh, this is like a French wicked. What the fuck? Is there is there like an in dot wikipedia dot org? Ah, well, okay. That, uh... Okay, let me translate this French article because I don't speak French. How fuck do you... Well, okay, but uh, she she yeah she's thirty years old. She's a famous porn star. Ranking's nothing nothing to me. Well, she's very popular. She she's a very popular uh, adult film actress, and um, she also is a famous Twitch streamer. Um, does porn star ranking based it off actual acting ability or just highest fetish inducing popularity? Um. Make sure I'm just yeah. So um, I basically what I just assume is like traffic, fame, and watch time. Like click through rate, watch time is what I'm assuming. Uh, Pornhub's top top porn stars and models in uh and full length. Okay, so that's be full length. But like then there's obviously some famous name and there's some male on this list like Johnny Sins obviously, but yeah, it's what it is. If you, if you can't save a name, can't, can't you just show it? I can't just show that. I can't just show that. Do the bottom of that pit from here. Yeah, so, by the way, my, my image is really low quality. I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, this is on, um, on October 8th. So, this is a Saturday. There we go. Um, the porn star famous twin junior sit magnet. It's not. Project ability, what fucking year is it? Ah, uh, that is... It, there's a lot of that. But, I mean, hey, I'm not gonna lie. She's attractive. Uh, yeah. And, and, I mean, you know, hey, she made it to TwitchCon. She was hoping for a good time, like a lot of people were. And a lot of people were having a good time. Oh, yeah, I mean... Uh, obviously, I cannot show more of her... It's barely a pit. It is barely a pit. Like, oh, wait, wait, wait till we get to this. Let me just, uh. I'm just making sure I have things in order here. Okay. So I kind of. All right. 
We're just making sure we have things in the right setup here. So we'll go through. Once targets are black blown out, it's gone. Uh I don't see the appeal. Um to, to which part? Do, doing uh yeah. Everyone gangster with Twitch messes up. Now, in a lot of ways, before we get into this, this isn't a hundred percent Twitch's fault. This is a partner booth. This is uh Legion Lenovo and Intel, which God, this is the kind of press they need right now. But this is what they what, what people will call a uh, gladiatorial arena, essentially. If, if you ever watch the show American Gladiators either the 80s or the late, uh, tw early 2010s reboot. This is, like, a little gladiatorial thing. Um, so Adriana and this other Twitch streamer whose name I'm currently blanking on. If anyone knows her name, please tell me. I believe she did get a little hurt, but she didn't... I mean, you can look right here. Uh, if, if we just, um... We just try to skip forward here. Or, well, not far forward, but... But like, you can even look here. Too grown to be flying balls. Think that maybe two meters deep. Yeah, like this is not even. I don't even think this would go up to most people's legs if we look at this right here. Like you, you can see this is obviously a floor. This is a concrete floor. This is in the middle of a convention center in San Diego. You know, obviously, they're not making this with like hardwood or anything. This is concrete. And then you have. The, these phone cubes, which, like, I, I'd say maybe there's, like, two or three layers of phone cubes here. Not even a meter and a half. Exa exactly. Like, these these are not enough to cushion someone's fall. If you look, um, oh, God, what's his name? Um, Rob, okay, Rob Deirdrick, Fantasy Factory... Skate. I, I'm trying to see if I can find the the, the pit that he has, because he's got a foam pit. Um, uh, fucking Rob Deirdrick has a foam pit. Let me see if I can find it. On, Rob Deirdrick. Here we go. Here we go. This is now in a in a foam pit. What you really want is something that's about. Um, we're gonna just mute the audio here. Just let this kind of or lower the audio. And you'll see here, like, this is a pit designed for someone to fall into, you know, with motion and height taken into advantage, well, taken into account, essentially. And you can see, yeah, obviously, this, this foam pit right here, which has the same kind of brick, or like, square foam, is obviously enough to encapsulate a man who is... Like, this man is in there, and he's six foot. Like, Yellow Wolf is not a small dude. But you can tell he's, like, actually got to stand up in there. Like, he, he's got proper... Yeah, that, that's safe. Exactly. And then you compare it to what we're about to see in a second here. Like... And, and to describe what's going on here, Adriana won the fight with these little um, foam stick things. If you've been to DC Discovery Zone or any place, you know, she, she beat the shit out of him. Uh, Intel and Lenovo have infinite money. How can we just pay for an adequate sponge pit? Oh, PVA, sure, for pure vagina action. Jesus. But yeah, then. <laughs> Then we get to her celebrating, and this, obviously, if you've ever been inside any foam pit, any even, like, fucking ball pit, really, you have done the same thing, right? You, you've celebrated by doing exactly God. something like this. I'm I, I'm building up the reaction, because I'm, I'm milking the time here. Yeah, your back's about to be dead here in a second. But yeah, she, she does this to celebrate, which in, in a normal foam pit, like we had just seen, not not even 30 seconds ago, in a fucking factory, provides this. And I, I'm going to warn everybody before I play this. If you're sensitive to damage of the human body, now's your warning. I'm about to play the whole 30 seconds of the rest of this clip. 
I'm warning you now. It's not pretty. So you, you've got five seconds before I start it. So I'm just giving you a fair warning, people. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, big sympathy and sense of her own. Good? Great victory there. I can't get out. Are you okay? Are you okay? She, she's held down by the pit bull medic. Are you okay? Gravity. No, no, she's fine. All right, we'll make sure she's okay. Get her out of the pit. Landed on her tailbone. Yeah. Now she lives in the pit now. I kind of think. Now, I shouldn't have to tell you, um, I, one, just this instant look of, let me just rewind it here. Good? This look right here, because she, she broke her... She, and she's a great porn star, too. This is gonna suck. Hey, this... is not necessarily the, the type of thing I'd go after on that topic, but... Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, but the way she lands is incredibly just... Let me, let me... We're just muting for a second here. The, the way she lands here is just right on her fucking tailbone. Like, it, it, it's painfully obvious just exactly how bad in this moment it is going to be. And then just... Fucking hell. I hope she got a good surgeon. I, I do too, because... I, I mean, real talk, let's... You know, let's look at brass tacks here, right? This is going to fuck her up for the rest of her life. It, it, it's... You know, that's not me being rude. It's not me being, you know, anything like that. This spine injuries are, are the worst kind of injuries you can have, just in general. Uh, I mean, j just imagine, one, the amount of pain that she's going to be in for, for the rest of her life, inherently. It's just undeniable. Um, let me see here. I have Twitch paid for medical treatment. Uh I hope so, too. There was... Real, real quick, by the way. Thankfully, somebody on fucking scene, right, actually had some sense. Because if we look here, this is uh, from her main Twitter account. By the way, I cannot show the main Twitter account page. I I, I just can't. I, I cannot show her main page. I'm just telling you guys. Uh, so this is uh, Adriana Chechenik. Um, special shout out to the random... Uh, not what I... Hold on. God, God damn it. Ah, fuck. I don't have a first aid sign. Shit. If somebody has that first aid sign, tweet it to me real quick, please. What are you trying to do, you pansy? Uh, here we go. So yeah, uh, special shout out to the random off-work EMT who got the workers at the booth to realize how bad I was injured and to make them keep me still and calm me down until others got there. You really kept me from crying badly. Which, by the way, is an understatement of the fucking year. Because it could have gotten worse if they had tried messing with her and tried moving her. There's equal chances of them damaging something that was already damaged to begin with. It, it, it's... It's fucking, it's fucking scary, because she could have genuinely, like, it could have gotten worse. Uh, thankfully, well, let me make sure I, I get this in the right order here, because again, I fucked up the order. There we go. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? She, she's got to be the only person who's damaged, like, something, right? Uh, obviously. I I'm saving the update for a minute after this. Uh, say what you will, but uh, at least the Dashcon ball pit didn't literally cripple someone. 
What kind of uh, incompetent R slur set this up? Yeah, that's a good question. Reason EMT mobilizes your neck before exactly, exactly. Um, of course, you know, you you'd expect. Obviously, more people got injured, including uh, the other person who had some back pain, and then I believe someone else broke something. I didn't have that fully set up there. Uh, as you see here, this is from a uh, small Twitch streamer, uh, Lock Lock Vanis. Um, she dislocated her knee in the ring. So there, there's obviously her right there holding her knee. You know? She she genuinely is, like, not... You know, that, that look on her face is not pleasant. That does not face somebody who's having a good moment. You know? Um, fuck, here we go. That's another thing I was kind of pulling up here. Oh. Hey. Good stream thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And you can see, she, she's obviously, like, her knees wrapped up. And as she even says here herself, uh, you know, this pits one lo big lawsuit waiting to happen. This is a reply from TLG Does Things. Lock Vanis, uh, yeah, and unfortunately we can't do shit about it because we had to sign a waiver too. Uh, mind you, I'm going to say here, I don't know necessarily what legally they can do because they has to they have to be something they could do personally i i think hastily made for oh yeah oh yeah the hastily made for uh it's kind of adorable like like somebody's child kind of like you know drew a first aid thing and somebody's like yeah i got i don't have a heart to actually make a sign here tape it up oh Oh, she can tell me just cyborg because of a metal. Not a silver lining, losing an eye, but having a valid excuse to wear an eye patch. Waiver may not hold up in court. I mean, it's it's painfully obvious. Like, you, you know, <coughs> let me just pull this video from, from Twitter back up. If you just look here, like, there are people crouched, and they're still within fucking eye level of the bottom. They can, like, eye level of the top, and they're crouched. That's not a safe height to jump from. If someone is crouched right there, and they're still, like, you can... They can see the, the top from eye level when they're crouched. That's not safe. That's probably the opposite of safe. But... I... I, I, I don't know. Fucking hell. I, I don't get it. Twitch will settle out of court. But it's, it's Twitch, it's Lenovo, it's um, Intel... Because Intel and Lenovo had the booth. Like, technically they were renting space. By, by the way, this had to be a thumbnail. I had to, I had to switch back and forth with this. Fuck me. Um, okay, here we go. So, then, uh, we, got, we did get an update last night, which uh, this stream window browser. Here we go. Uh, so this is, uh, I broke my back in two places, and I'm getting surgery to put a meter rod in for support today. Send your support. When it rains, it pours, and I'm definitely feeling the rain right now. Uh, and then this is uh, a reply between uh, between Adriana and a uh, Twitter user, at Hentai VTuber. Uh, at Hentai VTuber, you literally need to sue for this. Uh, Adriana Chechnik. I agree. Or Chechik. I I'm bad with names, folks. I'm bad with names. Uh, I agree. There's injuries from other people, too. They should have done better before someone got hurt in the first place. Which... Ah. Uh, not the only hospitalized injury, either. Multiple days of injury. Broken bones myself and a rod inserted, not back, and it sucks. I... Oof. It's just... Fuck. The worst pain you can imagine? It... Yeah, like you, you'll, like it's one of those things you'll feel it forever, basically. You, you'll feel it forever. By the way, here, here's um, here's another interesting thing. Um, they kept it going. <laughs> um, one day after, this is a tweet from at Lenovo Legion, which is uh, Lenovo's esports initiative. I mean, I think it can be same as loads of painkillers. Fuck. And that can always be rough, you know? That can always genuinely just be fucking painful. But they, they genuinely gave, like, 
no, no shits immediately after all this. They, they stopped doing it slightly after this tweet. Now that Intel are both multi-billion companies setting up an adequate sponge pit that fills all reasonable demands of safety is not outside of their budget. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, were they given any sort of warnings or severe signs on the walls? Do not jump from extreme heights. Do not jump into a pit in exaggerated positions. No, they should be able to see. Exactly. Which kind of was pathetic. What do you expect from a platform owned by the same company doesn't even let its employees use the bathroom most of the time? Yeah, that's a good... It, Amazon is a weird company. Because it's, it's one of those ones, I fucking hate them, but I also fucking horribly use their products and I'm kind of forced to because kind of forced to because um I just there's nothing really on the level right now which is sad to say and I also want to like Twitch as a platform also I just realized I probably should not look at my fucking notifications on fucking stream um I I I I want to like Twitch I hate what they've done to the platform I want Something better than Amazon, but I'm trapped because really nothing's even close to Amazon right now, even fucking Walmart. It, it is a damned if you do, damned if you don't thing. And that's mostly because... Convenience. Gotta love it. Now, uh, let me see if I can find... Here we go, here, here we go. Love four signs. If you say a real person should know better on their own, you can't guarantee it's your responsibility. You... Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Um, that's not the image. That's not the... There we go. In my mind, I've always thought that, you know, better safe than sorry. It is genuinely better safe to have the warning there, have things up and in plain sight, than it is to say, oh, well, nobody's going to actually do anything that fucking stupid, right? Ha <laughs> ha. No, because people will do something that fucking stupid. Uh, if you've ever, if you've ever been on the internet and you've been on fucking, like, you've seen people do horribly stupid shit. They should know that it's horribly stupid. But they still do it. Saving systems escape for liability first, warning second. Sadly true. Uh, this here. Uh, after multiple injuries at Lenovo Legion, just decided to end their live stream. It's October 9th, uh, I can tell you, at 3.15. So this is about, like, 30 minutes after that tweet I showed you guys, I think. Uh, so, uh, this is at Mr. Zach Lee, Twitch about to be sued. Uh, at Grimstar Gaming, if it was Lenovo's stall, it'd be Lenovo that is liable. Also, if they did have people sign waivers, it wouldn't matter much. Those things don't hold up in court. Uh, Adriana, uh, this is from her tweet. Here. Um, do their heads are full of um, anything but brains? <laughs> I, I mean, like it is a Twitch stream. Like she's a Twitch streamer. Yeah, but I, I mean, still, it's like if you've ever been in, like, I mean, if you ever went to like any of these like foam pits growing up, because like people, a lot of people went to DC Discovery Zone and shit like that, where you could jump in these things and you could bounce. Even ball pits really were more safe than this. I could go jump in a Chuck E. Cheese ball pit, even in my mid-30s, you know, mid-20s, mid-30s, and probably still be safer than jumping into this fucking pit that is, like, this thin, basically. I'm gonna be jumping in ball pits in the first place, they dirty. Yeah. Although, people jumping in ball pits pro oh, oh, pro probably should not do that either. Um... So yeah, the company's fault for not probably setting up their booth for safety. It's also the convention. It's also either the convention's fault or the convention center's fault to not have a booth inspected obligated safety procedures. They told people to dive. They told people to walk it off. The shouts of "I can't get up" and "Medic" were met with sarcastic gravity and "No, no, she's fine." Which yeah, that that is going to be really bad for 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 the booth. The just uh uh. This is, a, this is a lawsuit waiting to fucking happen, and yeah, I'm gonna be honest here, if Adriana doesn't, she'd be stupid, because this is fucking lawsuit worthy. Ooh, the bottom isn't just concrete either, it's usually in that, exactly. Oh boy, try not to sneeze, try not to sneeze. Internet lingo doesn't work in real life. So you're telling me, the son not only asked, only got asked that question instantly, but almost got injured. I, if he had jumped off, he would have broken something. 
<laughs> also, yeah. I, I, oh, sh I, I should show that. I should show that. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Hassan Piker and uh, a man named Samuel L. Hadid have been having a uh, an internet fight for a while. Oh, also, I, I will give um one one more one final thing on this here. Do you imagine anyone jump forward? I, I mean, I would have jumped on my fucking head and just cracked my skull, but uh, be a little suit. It would be kind of a little suit. Yeah, it's just like I would have, I I would have genuinely like, fucking, I would have hurt myself because I know how dumb I am. I would have busted more than my back. Like fuck. I think is. Shit, one second. There we go. Uh, really quick, we'll read this here. This is uh, this is the most recent update at about ten fifty four a.m. Uh, last time was horrible. The pain I felt like I'd rather die. This is gonna suck. Uh, this is 10:54 a.m. Then uh, at Namor Dev, NMR underscore Dev. Um, oh no! Hope you feel better soon. So how much problem is getting? What's happening to you right now? How long will it take for your back to get better? Six months to a year. Now, uh, again, <laughs> I, I, I will I will prompt uh, I will prompt and say this real quick. I am not a lawyer. I have no legal advice to give, and, and if you're if you're assuming legal advice, don't take it from a guy whose green screen is currently fucking up. That's what I'll say. Um, that because you have to think one, Adriana is both a Twitch streamer, but she is also both an OnlyFans model and an adult film star, right? So you have to think that is at the very least two or three of those jobs, two out of three, right? Because she does not make little money. In adult film, she she doesn't make like, yeah, you know, average money in adult film. She literally, if you look up there on the screen, also I don't know why this is fucking up still, but but if you look up there, she has her own goddamn fleshlight you can buy. This woman is not making little amount of money here. She she's not making general amount of money, right? She's making money from. You know, OnlyFans, she's making money from Twitch, she's making money from the films and, you know, all that. Fleshlight sponsorship. Literal pussy mold. She has six months to a year at the very least worth of downtime, right? That is lost revenue, it's lost money, but it's lost profit. She's going to make so much goddamn money from suing these companies because they basically just took her out of work for a whole goddamn year. Doing fit. I mean, look, she makes her money, and she probably makes damn good money. Like I said, she's number 13 on Pornhub. She's not, like, she's making more money than you or I have seen in our lifetimes. <laughs> or an out-of-court settlement, probably. Exactly. But that, that that is a good case for her. There's a bad case for any company against her and this situation, because she's... Again, out of six months to a year of work. Like, the amount of money she makes... I'd call it a career. <laughs> Look, porn can be a career if you know how to do it. Riley Reed has a career in porn. Like, this, this girl, Adriana, has a career in porn. She... Yeah, her stuff's really... I, I, I'm not going to say anything past what Iron Grip 62 just said. She has a career in porn. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but still, e even with just Twitch streaming, you've still got surgery downtime. You still got Jada Fire. Hey, we're not gonna throw it back to my old day. But, yeah. Uh, anyways, but yeah, no. That's still like downtime. That's surgeries. That's expenses. That's all that it's travel even gone. If she had plans for anything in the next year, that's all gone. And garbage can. Yeah, we'll rarely read is. Should I play her her rap song as my outro for tonight? How about that? Um, let me let me let me real quick see here. I think I got. Well, we got one more topic, and this is we're going back to a favorite video of mine because I figured uh, we'll talk about the the other. Riley Reid has a rap song. Yep. Oh boy. Ah, oh, people don't know that. People people don't know about that one. 
Cringe white. Uh, oh, it's even worse than that. Um, so this here is comedian Tom Segura. For those of you who don't know comedian Tom Segura, he uh, hosts a podcast called Your Mom's House. He's a relatively funny dude. I'm, I, I don't really have anything else to say other than this is Tom Segura. You know who Tom Segura is? He's Tom Segura. He injured himself in a way that still to this day, like this happened last year in January. Actually, like late, late 2020, ass end of. Well, ask beginning of 2021. YouTube oh, I was pushing him. Uh, he decided to do a basketball uh, like layup tournament thing. And it was going good until it didn't. Um, I'd never heard of a fan in my life. I will warn you, if you don't like seeing injuries, you may as well just end the stream here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna Fool around and tell anything. This hurts to look at. This hurts for me to look at. And I can handle this shit. So, you trust me when I say, we're gonna, I'm just gonna get to a point here. But you see what, like, you see the contraption his, like, left arm is in down there, right? It's not gonna be pretty. You're gonna, you're gonna see something horrifying in a minute. So, uh, I give everybody about a six or five second countdown, then I'll play it. So, Again, if you want to tune out, I don't blame you. Believe me, this shit makes me squirm. I'm taking a drink real quick. And a hit on my vape, because fuck it. Um, but by the way, I'm not sponsored by this company who, who makes this vape pen. So I'm not going to advertise who they are, but if they want to, my email is down below. It's fuzzhowbiz at gmail.com. I'm willing to smoke whatever you want me to smoke, companies. I'm a whore. Sorry, I just had to get that out there. Physical profession. Well, she. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that after this one. <laughs> Here we go. Are you okay? Mm. Look, look, um. Fuck. Can't look at that, honestly. Now, I, here's the thing. I would have been throwing up completely all over this fucking... Oh, I can't look at it. His arm. His arm. Ah! Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, guys, all right. I, oh, that one's a little rough on me. Oh, how fuck did he do that? Uh, they, they, they're, but, hold on, I have to. Hey, hang on, I'm, I'm trying to find. <laughs> Kind of a fucking image. Here we go. Uh, all right, I had to find this fucking comment. Um, I, I'll just I'll just read this fucking comment. These comments section. Um, I was not prepared for how hilarious this comment section was going to be. Uh, I love the optimism of the second camera angle. Fully proud to capture Tom's flight. Um, imagine being so unathletic, you get in a car accident trying to do a layup. <laughs> Dude's come back in Afghanistan, what's the problem with this guy? Peter Griffin. He didn't s he took the injury like a real psychopath. He fell so fast while moving so slowly, it was like he... Trained by gravity. Ah, uh, God, yeah, no, that that hurts me. Great job of a replay. Oh, God, yeah, no, that video hurts me mentally. Um, all right, so real quick, uh, before we wrap everything up here, 
Uh, I'm gonna announce a couple things. One, we're gonna be doing horror game streams. Uh, I have I have been I have been preparing for for spooky month, but life has gotten in the way. So, uh, on Twitch, uh, over at twitch.tv forward slash buzzhowyt, uh, I'm going to be streaming the quarry. Uh, sometime this week, probably Wednesday. Check Twitter or post both of those at FuzzHowYT uh, for uh, information down the road there. Play Among Us, I, you know, funny enough, Among Us is one of three physical games I own for my PlayStation 5. Because, yeah. One second here, I actually put it over here. Uh, yes. I, I bought Among Us for PlayStation 5 physically. I have some sort of problem. Minecraft horror maps. Uh, n n no, no. But uh, yeah, no, I'd, I'd be down to stream. Uh, Deathverse is pretty fun. I've been, I've been enjoying the shit out of that. Um, yeah, no, I, I print Among Us sticker and stick. Well, it's already got, it's already got two separate boxes. This is the the main box. This thing in here is like a, like one of those. Um, does the illusion show up? Yeah, the illusion shows up here. Yeah, you you, you got the the one. All of them. And, oh, oh, it's an imposter. Oh. Also, only three games for PS5. No, it's 29 games. Uh, some of them I'm just doing for easy achievements because this new fucking service thing. Uh, don't ask why I bought the jumping kebab turbo. That's for a future stream thing. That actually needs to get deleted. Um, me and I like Travis strikes again. Like all of these games are some I'm playing myself, but I also kind of want to stream like, uh. Not, maybe not Guardians, but, like, Multiverses. People actually farm Chivos. Uh, they have, like, the reward system thing now. So I've been I've been farming those. I've been farming those achievements. Because uh, I, I just want to get to, like, the level 4 on the PlayStation rewards thing. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, I've got... Bane's a loser. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, fuck you. Just because I've been playing so much Avengers, it's not even funny. Doesn't mean I'm a loser. Okay, thank you. I, I might actually stream Avengers sometime. So yeah, no, I, I, got, I got tons of games on both the plate. I actually, I bought something to uh, to dab on a friend of mine, Empty Hero, because uh, he sucks at Alan Wake, and I was gonna dab on him by streaming Alan Wake. So we, we may do that this weekend as well. It's it's a horror game, right? You know, fuck it. Why not, right? Um, what else? Yeah, that's kind of it. There's uh, the announcement of an announcement coming soon. Uh, that announcement will be pretty interesting, I think. Um, then, obviously, Twitch stream, probably Wednesday. He's a lizard for completely unrelated reasons. Exactly. I only play AAA games. Hey, man, that's not in... I, I mean... You know, I'm gonna say I consider um, Among Us is an indie game. I play Among Us. Alan Wake. Alan Wake does not suck. Ah, you people. Anyways, but it's not the point. Um, again, go follow me on Twitter and on Post P O A S P O A dot S T uh, forward slash FuzzHowYT. Uh, I'm the only person on Post who has not said a racial slur yet. So unless you consider calling Empty Hero Italian. Which might actually be simply mid trip, but none of those are mid. Ah, uh, mm. none of these are mid. Maybe Man of Madonna is slightly mid, but it's still not that bad. Like it's try saying. Let me see, Gujin. What about Google Stadia? Uh, I'm planning on doing a video on that. Um, State Stadia is dead. Got it. Ah, yeah, boy. You got Returnal? Returnal's fucking awesome, I will say. Um, one thing I will say about Stadia, because I know some people are probably actually interested on me talking about it. Um, I, I still, I'll still say this. The controllers are still comfortable as shit, and I can use them on PC. So I've got about four or three PC controllers, so... Who, who really 
in, in this situation, because I'm getting a refund also, so I'm getting at least like 600, 700 bucks. So, I mean, really, who is losing in this scenario? The answer is not me. Not entirely. Well, you know, hey, look, um, oh, I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Um, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty much Septim McCrane ships replace Indies no one knows about. I mean, hey, there's, you know, you didn't, you didn't buy four Stadia controllers, so, I mean, hey, one of them broke. Still got three. Yeah, that's kind of it all I got from the stream tonight. Well, with that, folks, I thank you all for coming, uh, all for coming out tonight. Um, uh, I'm actually trying to wonder. That's not what I was looking for. Uh, where's the outro song? Well, we'll play the Riley Reed rap. It's a short outro song. But, I mean, let me see here. Wow, I, I, I just... The, 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 the song is called 8 Ball Shoddy by uh, Riley Reed, and it's 2 minutes and 13 seconds long however i'm not gonna play that one i'm gonna play the one minute and one second uh outro song version which i've also realized completely will get me like ah you know what fuck it i don't care if, if, if i get something if i get a complaint i'll just edit it out fuck it have a good one I warn you guys, it's awful. I told you guys. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. Riley Reed really did that. I'm so sorry. Wait, what fuck's that? Oh, but ah, god damn it, no, no, I don't want to fucking cry. I've almost finished Edge Runners. God damn it. Anyways, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Peace.